The emphasis is on ferment, which was about brewing, but there you are. Uh, well, what does brewing mean, I mean, in terms of capitalism? Well, it means actually ensuring that people understand what capitalism is and we talk together about how we change it, because it's failing people at the moment. Change or overthrow? I think you change the gradual process, that's what socialism is all about, but at the end of the day I do want to transform it. Is it actually the, 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 the Shadow Chancellor's role to try to reform capitalism? Yes it is. I think the Shadow Chancellor's role is to put forward an alternative to what's happening at the moment. Uh, and what's happening at the moment is that under our economic system that we've got, we've people in poverty. We've got you know, four million children in poverty at the moment in our country, two million pensioners, and that's just unacceptable in a civilised society. We know what poverty is, we know what wealth is, but where is the point at which you say, right, those are people who need to be taxed more? I mean, what sort of well, see, earnings I, are you talking about? Yeah, see, I'm not particularly interested in tax on income. What I'm concerned about at the moment is the organisations that are walking away and literally laughing to the bank are those that are not paying their taxes. A lot of this will be about trust, after all. Yes. The last Labour government uh, left Britain with the worst deficit since the Second World War. And, and establishing trust is difficult. I mean, in, in your case, for example, if we take something like what you've said about the IRA, people will find that very hard to understand. Why would one honour the IRA and their guns and bullets, to quote you? Yeah, that needs explaining quite a bit, and I'll do it briefly if you don't mind. Um, this was 13 years ago, at a time when the peace process was on extremely fragile. Some of us had to go out and sell that peace process. And we were worried at that stage that if elements within the IRA or the Republican movement thought they were going to be humiliated and defeated, there would be a major split. And in that way, the bombings and the military campaign would continue on. So some of us had to go out there, I might not have chosen the right words, but actually explain to them that they could stand down with dignity. They weren't being defeated, they were standing down, they could put their weapons aside. And I was saying that to both sides. Now I know as a result of that I got attacked, but actually it worked. And if it saved one life, it was worth it. Are you surprised that people are somewhat queasy about your appointment? Oh no, not at all. Why, why shouldn't they be? You know, I'm a backbencher. I've been opposed to virtually everything New Labour has done. I've been voting against them on many things like privatisation, Iraq and things like that. How would you describe yourself? Because why is it that your colleagues, so many of your colleagues, seem to think that you're so far out as to be unfit to be uh, well, Chancellor effectively? Uh, it's because in this place I've had to oppose a lot of things and sometimes that's meant swimming against the stream. And, and that has meant Jeremy and I at times have been isolated, but actually we were right on many of these. We were right on Iraq. We were right to vote against the privatisations. We were right to vote against the cuts that even New Labour introduced to benefit. So I think we've been proven right, and I think the tide is now with us. You see, um, Hilary Benn, who after all is now the Shadow Foreign Secretary, said that Labour will, will work for a yes, yes result, Jeremy is staying in Europe. Yeah, but Jeremy has said that, but there will be some... And do you say that? Well, I do, but... So you can bring yourself to vote for Europe. Well, we're, what we're asking for is a significantly reformed Europe. We want our own reform agenda. We're going to meet with socialist parties right the way across Europe to look at that reform agenda. But there will be members of the Parliamentary Labour Party who are campaigning now for knowing that referendum. You've got to respect their views. How do you feel about the fact that a woman doesn't have your job? Well, we've now announced the Shadow Cabinet it's 16 women and 15 men. That's a historic breakthrough. I've heard all this thing about uh, none of the four top jobs are, uh, are occupied by women. Jeremy has said quite clearly, that's, there's no top jobs. That's archaic. It's like something from the 19th century when government only invaded places or just had a police force or managed a small budget. Now the real jobs, I think, are about the delivery of services like health and education. And all those key jobs, there are women. For many of the issues that you've, you've pursued, the media have been uh, hardly, you know, there, but they're now very there. Uh, how, how, how do you feel about the way you and Jeremy Corbyn have been treated in the last couple of months? Um, we've managed to break through to have a proper political debate, but largely as a result of the public meetings we've held and the social media. Years ago we never had Twitter, we never had emails on this scale, we never had websites. Now we've created our own media and that's enabled a better political debate. Some of the media have, have done their usual thing, they've, they've personalised it, etc. Um, I have to say, Jeremy and his family, I just have to pay tribute to them. So the, the attacks that they've had and they've, they've held together extremely well and I'm sure that's what they'll be doing to me as well and we'll just have to keep our head, heads up, chin up and, and continue on. But keep on drawing people back to the political debate 
And to be frank, the political debate that we've had over the last three months as part of the leadership campaign has just stimulated. It's just been phenomenal. You know, when did we last see a thousand people turning up at a public meeting and still banging at the door wanting to get in? I just think it's tremendous. Finally, will the system allow you to survive? Do you want to survive? Do you want to do five years? Do you want to, do you want to be Chancellor of the Exchequer? Oh yes, this is, a, this is a serious endeavour to go back into government. But we'll only go back into government if we ensure that people have confidence in us in managing the economy. That's why we're putting forward a very concrete alternative. I want to give people confidence that we can manage the economy better than any other political party, but we can manage it in the interests of ordinary working people. Middle, middle and low earners, so that actually, yes, we are ensuring that they have a prosperous future. But we need to do that on the basis of real democratic engagement. We've done that during this campaign. I want to maintain that momentum.